What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Roach Clip Sportscast. You guys might be familiar with the Roach Clip Podcast. But right now we got a new a new co-host. We fired Chorizo for this portion. And, <laughs> and we got a... Uh, well, fuck it. Just let him introduce himself. What's up? T- say what's up to the peeps out there, dog. Yo, what's up? I'm the one replacing Chorizo. Decided to get a bigger Chorizo. You know what I mean? Because Chorizo seems to not know shit about sports, <laughs> so we're just going to do a little sports cast without his ass. Right, right. Uh, they call me Bebe's kids, but for the ladies, they call me Magic Joe. It's whatever. I don't really care. Why is it Magic Joe? Because I get down like that. What does that mean? I make those girls disappear, you know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. I make my schlong disappear. Right, right. When it's cold outside, that shit disappears. It caves in. That's crazy. That's crazy. No, I never done this before, but it seems like a lot of fun. So, I mean, Tolo's cool. a lot of fun. So, you just gotta chill. You know what I mean? Take it easy. It doesn't matter. We're just here to talk, have a nice conversation. I mean, we could start. What were you talking about, Rashad Evans earlier? You me- you're about to mention something about Rashad. Oh yeah. So former uh, tough season two of Numb Line, right? Rashad Evans well, cannot get cleared for fighting. It's it's actually kind of ridiculous. There's already been two pay-per-views that they will not let this man fight due to medical stuff. Well, uh, he probably had some kind of brain damage. You see that knockout that gave him that duck face? <laughs> that shit was crazy. Yeah, I mean, he granted, he don't have a chin no more, but um, this he, he just, it's all weight cut. The system for the whole fighting thing is weight cut. Well, yeah. it's good. I think once you've been knocked out one too many times, it might be fucking time to call it quits. You know what I mean? Because... H catches up to your ass, yeah, they, and and because these fools get like these fools start getting knocked out so fast, it's not even funny. Like it happened, to, it happened with Chuck Liddell. Yeah, once I he, mean it's happened to like I don't know what's gonna happen to Fade or he has a fight schedule against uh, on on uh, what is he, who's he fighting on Matt Mitrione? Yeah, yeah. Mitrione. So that's gonna head. Yeah, because did you see the other, did you see Fedor's? Previous fight before that against Fabio Montalbano. That was one of the weirdest fights ever, dude. I don't know how they didn't stop that shit. Politics, man. It's not like boxing, but in Russia, they're gonna give it to Fedor. Russian people. Of course, Fedor's their god. That and that Putin dude. Hey, but that shit got like overturned or some shit. They took it to like the. They took that shit to authority. That thing got overturned to a draw. Yeah, I think it. Think it. Yeah, I it did. So, it dude, did. I'm pretty sure it did. Audience, if you guys uh, want to go check that out, go Google it for yourself. You fuck nuts. We're not here to fucking predict the future or tell you your fortunes or fucking tell you who to put your money on, who to bet on. We're not the smartest motherfuckers around. We watch a little sports center and we think we're fucking geniuses, just like those assholes. We're no different from anybody on Sports Center or any of that bullshit you guys watch. Them. Right. At least we could keep it real, though, you know what I mean? It right. talks about what we want to talk about, but. Fedor, dude, that fool's a legend, man. That fool's one of my favorite fighters ever because I grew up watching that dude. When they used to put the pride fights on uh, on FX, uh, no, not FX, on Fox. Fox, Fox Sports. Fox, used Fox to, Sports. Back in the day. And then Fedor, I remember this fool just used to come out with that fucking face. You know what I mean? He had no fucking facial expression. No fo- that fool don't look happy or sad. Yeah. I remember Brody right here. Remember Brody? We used to watch this fool get down. If we just fucking beat the shit out of everybody. He was cold as ice, man. Uh, Fedor was probably one of the best to do it because of the way he looked. Yeah, he is Fedor, Fedor, man. Yeah, well, that fool's fucking... But, hey, dude, (laughs) hey, if he wins this next fight, he has a possibility of maybe going to the UFC and challenging somebody over there. The UFC heavyweight division, honestly, is a joke. You got the same. You got you got the same guys fighting for the belt. Well, they're all time. they're all old old fucking division. It was yeah. all, I think it has to be the oldest division. That's that, but it sucks because you have Kane that trains at AK, always injured. That's what fucks him up. He's all, and he's probably one of the most dominant champs ever. If he was to fight Fedor, I bet you he would destroy Fedor. Well, it's because the injuries keep him fucking. The injuries are what's keeping that fool fucking from greatness. Cause he's limited. He's limited on time. Cause he's on when he's on point, dude. Fucking Cam Cam Velasquez is unstoppable, bro. I'm yeah, he'll, he'll, right he'll now. destroy everybody. Hell yeah, but yeah, the fucking the heavyweight division could go any way. You see, fucking um, 
Fabrizio Verdum talking know. shit on the UFC now. He had that fucking Nike thing on. Yeah, Verdum, he, he's actually world class jiu jitsu. I mean, his stand up's improved a lot too. I just think that when he fights Kane again on uh, what card is it? December thirty first. I think he's fighting on the Ronda Rousey. Oh, card. dude. If, if, but if Kane, if Kane's one hundred, if well, he's gonna have surgery. I was reading though after that fight. Yeah, he might. But it, this is in uh, Las Vegas, not Mexico. That's the last time they had the fight. And that's that, elevation that was an al- issue. That altitude bullshit. Yeah, it was. It was. I guess. I mean, he could tell in the fight. He was so out of it after the first round. It was ridiculous. And he's cardio Kane. You know what I mean? That's what they call him. So, I mean, what we, yeah. What, what do you What do you think about uh McGregor getting his boxing license? You I'll, see that? I don't think shit of it. I he, think he got that shit in uh, California. It's It's sad. His people, they uh. He, 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 uh, what is it, what is it, they, like, they edited the sparring of him boxing some national pro fighter in Ireland, and he was getting worked. I mean, you got worked by Diaz, you know what I mean? So him going against a top-level boxer is kind of ridiculous. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you put him against, don't even consider Mayweather, put him against a top-15 oh, boxer oh, in that area, yeah. he's going to get worked. And it's not going to be pretty either. Because you, when you box, you'll get exposed real fast on who's winning and who's losing the fight. MMA, yeah. MMA you have so many different ways to win a fight. Boxing, it's it's pretty standard. You can tell who's getting their ass beat or not. Oh, yeah. yeah. Take Mayweather out of the picture because Mayweather would just fucking toy with this guy. You've seen like world-class fighters couldn't even touch him. Yeah. Oh, no. I mean, uh, Dude's the, trained their whole life in just stand-up boxing. Everybody's got to just understand that that's two different sports, dude. And that's yeah. it. Like. Yeah. It's like it's like asking somebody that plays football if they could go fucking or yeah or not, not or like cause fucking or like uh, can play you, hockey and can, shit. Yeah, can a hockey play? Yeah, exactly. Can a go. hockey player play basketball? Exactly. Probably, Probably not. not. Maybe play like maybe he's good and shit, but in NBA no, level. Sure. Yeah, but it's like it's like you know what I mean. Who went one on one? Michael Jordan or fucking Wayne Gretzky in a basketball game? Oh, Michael Jordan, Ray Wayne Gretzky. Right, both of them will lose right now. They're both old, huh? Crazy yeah. reference, old ass <laughs> reference. Turn ACLs and that's telling glaucoma you. and shit like that. You know what I mean? Older than fucking dinosaurs over here and shit. Yeah, it's it's nuts. But I think I I really think Diaz deserves that fucking third fight. Yeah. Come on, man. They gotta fucking settle this score. They're one and I one. Agree. Come on, man. They're one and one. You can't let this fucking be at one and one. It, I don't even. They cons- both retire at one and one. Come yeah, on. No. no, Dana Dana White wants to save McGregor because he got exposed two fights. He shows that. Yeah. Well, the first fight shows that he's trying to keep him relevant. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Like they want to hold him down. The first yeah. fight showed that Diaz has a chin. Yeah. And he could take a punch from anybody, but it's been proven in every fight. He only got stopped once. That was against Josh Thompson. Amazing fight. The second fight just proved that Conor McGregor could survive. You almost finished him in the third round. In the third round, McGregor was out of it. Yeah, dude. Like McGregor, fucking no stamina. If it fucking makes it to the third round, like you see him like slow down big time. Dude. Yeah, like, you can't take deep breaths. Like yeah, that. exactly. You, you can't keep your mouth open during a fight. Yeah, you see, he slows down like 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 big time, dude. Yeah, like, he goes from like a hundred to like zero real fast yeah it's a, it's a, it sucks because you you expose somebody that thinks he's pound for pound best but you put him against eddie alvarez and eddie alvarez came from Bellator. at least he got lucky with rda i think he he got him he caught rda but in the next fight with rda he him and tony ferguson went to war if you put eddie alvarez against another top five fighter i guarantee you probably lose i mean he lost to donald cerrone in a clear decision when he first came to the UFC. McGregor, he he got he picks his fights. He picks he picked a grappler. Eddie can't doesn't have a chin like he used to. But he was he was even getting knocked out in Beltor. He get choked out. Yeah, he came out he came in wild against McGregor, dog. He started just wing when he started winging and this fool just decked him like twice, he just fucking he said yeah. it's over, I can't do shit to this fucking guy. He he got he, he got nervous. Amateur. He made him look amateur at the at that moment. You know what I mean? I don't know what the fuck happened. I mean, all that shit he talked, saying that he's fucking gonna show he's a pretender and all this bullshit. He made the light heavyweight I mean the lightweight division look like He got broke. exposed, bro. He got exposed. I was listening to this fucking um this Rogan podcast with uh, John Jones, 
I couldn't even get through that fucking thing. Yeah, you know what I mean? Fucking John Jones, dude. That fool's, uh, that fool's like just covering his ass oh. every question they that motherfucker kept asking him. Yeah, John Jones is a different kind of cat. He he is good. I don't know about the whole steroid thing. He said it was a dick pill. Everything's a dick pill. Anderson Silva was a dick pill. Chelsea yeah. Sutton, dick pill. Fucking, uh. Damn, motherfucker can't get it up and shit. A lot of UFC fighters can't get hard yeah. dicks now. Fuck is all because you fucking use steroids and yeah, that shit fucks with your balls. Energy, uh, use all that energy, all that blood flow, like they forget about their dicks. Like, I, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I, I think it's kind of ridiculous how all of a sudden these top, great, greatest fighters of all time. John Jones is a legend, but. When Usada came in, does that tarnish his reputation as a fighter? Because how could you go from top 10 to getting cut, basically, in a, just a couple months? The 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 Come on, you have money. You have money. The, that DUI and uh, hit and run, that, that shit's a slap in the wrist for you. That's so, the dumbest shit, though, that he did out of everything. Yeah. It was a hit and run. Hit and run, yeah. The way he did it. But I mean, I won't knock it. Rampage did it. Yeah, I've been. There. I did a hit and run too. I've yeah. talked about it on the Roach Clay podcast too. Man. Yeah, everybody, everybody gets a hit and run. I, I haven't yet. Knock on wood. Try not to, bro. That's <laughs> I <can> say. <laughs> I can't advise you otherwise, bro. Yeah, I just, I just think John Jones is uh, feeding into his own life and his publicity as a fighter is getting. Tarnished. Well, he's like he's so fake because he's a different person every time he like. You know what I mean? Like, he tries to reinvent himself every time he gets in trouble. Just be an asshole. Just he, be who you are. Yeah, he's an asshole. Just be an asshole. He's talking about, DC like, was God right. and all this bullshit. Like, bro, just fucking be real, dog. Yeah, Don't he can't. Don't fucking involve can't. God and all this yeah. shit about, about, about what you're going through. Like, who gives a fuck what you're going through, man? Just come out and fight and be you, dog. Don't be fucking phony. He's, he claims that he's a holy man, but I don't know no holy guys like that who are serious and church do cocaine. The only holy thing I know is my fucking jersey. Right? Right? <laughs> my calzones. <laughs> my calzones. But yeah, dog boy, like, who's your favorite fighter of all time? My favorite fighter. In the MMA. In the MMA, MMA world. world? Oh, man. That's that's a hard one. Because oh, who's, who's one? I don't know. Maybe top three. I, I can give you a pretty or, good or, example or, of... Let me see. My top three would have to be... So number three would be Rampage Jackson. He do was just pure power. It was oh, yeah. stupid how strong this guy was. Like he'd body you for no reason, and he and after every fight, he and he was and he was fighting dudes on steroids. He always kept it clean. He never failed drug tests. He was just pure rage, and I, that's what I liked about Rampage and his nickname. My second favorite fighter, um, would have to be probably. I think I would go with Mark Coleman. Just oh, keep shit. it old school. We took it old school right there. Old school from the very beginning. Mark Coleman brought a he, he brought in ground and pound, and that elevated everybody's game because everybody thought he could just do jujitsu, and that would be wrestling. But if he could get a wrestler who could beat the shit out of you on top, it's over. Then your arm bar is not gonna work if you're trying, if you're getting constantly getting hit in the head. Uh, that uh, he elevated the new game right there. Come on, he beat the shit out of Dan Servin. He put in work. Dan the Beast. Yeah, Dan the Beast. He whooped him. He he put in against. Um, I even ever, heard he fought. Uh, did he ever fight Ken Shamrock? Uh, uh-uh. but he did fight Stephen Bonner at like forty six years old. Stephen Bonner, who won yeah. that one? The Mark Coleman beat the shit out of him. Hey, Bonner was to me. Bonner was fucking one hit wonder. Yeah, Abbott, take yeah, Abbott. take Abbott too. Take Abbott, take Abbott, crazy motherfucker. I respect Abbott's, him. Oh, yeah. He's the the original Roy Nelson right there. He had no MMA experience. He just liked to throw down, Yo. and he got he got his hits. He got his in. So he was a badass. So that's number two right there. My probably my number one favorite of all time is um. Uh, you know who I like a lot, and I put him because I watch his his training. I watch everything, and I try to find it. Is Yoel Romero? Oh, that fool's a fucking big old beast, huh? At Savage. Thirty nine years old. He is gun. He's getting a title shot against Michael Bisping. Everybody thinks that fool's on steroids for sure. Huh? His body, he's built like a god. It's stupid. He's built for that like, age. He's like an ox. He he makes. 
Yeah, he's like a fucking ox. He just built like a fucking, like a goddamn steel, concrete, goddamn, uh, what is it? A Roman statue, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's a, he has a body of a god. <laughs> that nigga chiseled, huh? Yeah. yeah. He, he'll beat you in all types of ways, but my, mainly, his, his whole thing with the steroids thing, I get. I mean, his body looks like he's on steroids. Well, he's from Cuba, dude. They feed him fucking steroids. Yeah, but the, yeah, he's for gay Jesus. No for for gay USA, Jesus. USA, no for gay Jesus. Gay Jesus. No yeah. for gay Jesus. That, and that I, I saw that fight oh, yeah. when he Me fought too. Machida. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Cause there's like at the time there was some gay shit going through. You know what I mean? Politics. Yeah. Some shit had like been voted through fucking law. Gay marriage. Yeah, and everybody's like, "Well, no, forget Jesus." I think he's man, no, don't forget Jesus with this fucking yeah. Cuban accent. I mean, how you gonna knock someone on an accent? Come on now, that's, that's all, fucked up. That's all racist. You just gonna assume that's how racist this country yeah. is, but he, he that's not for up. this podcast. <laughs> we'll leave that to another podcast. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Stick to the sports. But uh, fucking uh, okay, Joel Romero. Yo Romero probably number one because the way he could finish his opponents is just unbearable. He well, he's going to fight for the title pr- pretty much next, right? Yeah, and to be honest, his last fight with Chris Weidman just proves that Chris Weidman is nothing but a top 10 fighter. What he, if- he got lucky. He fought Anderson Silva, who got caught slipping twice. and Well, not twice. First one, he got caught slipping. The second time, that injury was Ooh, a crazy wa- freak accident. Were you watching here with us? Nah, but I seen it on uh, YouTube the next day. That nah, shit was gruesome, dog. It was brutal. I it, that that changed his whole career right there. He never became the great Anderson Silva that he was after that leg break. Oh my god, that shit was fucking horrific. You see his bone popping out his leg. Hell yeah, I thought he was gonna fucking hit his own face and shit when that shit fucking yeah. flung up and shit. <laughs> and then I was trying to kick himself and shit. Right. But, but uh, um, and uh, my bad. Go ahead. No, no, go for it. My bad. No, but I'm just saying. Yoel demolished Chris Weidman. Oh, he made and, him look foolish. And I don't like how Matt Sarah and his coach um, claimed that he was cheating. The thing about MMA and boxing, it's a sport. When he, when he, uh, what, what part are you talking about? Well, he's when talking he about his body or whatever. Yeah, like he wet his body, he get dried off. You could do that. If you weren't allowed to do that, they would not allow it. Now the stool gate where you'll remember where he was sitting on the stool too too long too. Yeah, yeah. That is not his fault. That is Tim Kennedy's fault for not capitalizing on the situation as well. He's too worried about getting the finish rather than okay, I got some extra time. Who cares if you're sitting or stand? It's better to stand up when you're in a fight than sit down. So Royal was at the disadvantage too. That whole thing was just a big mess, but it made him look bad. His, some of his wins on his record are tarnished because of accusations of him cheating. You got the steroids. You got him sitting on the stool too long. Got to win the body. But at the same time, you got to take advantage of it as well. Um, Chris Wyman got worked pretty he got, good. He got beat like a He got child. knocked out. At the end of it, the, the flying knee, he do, he dubbed in for a double that take. Shit was, that shit was beautiful, though. That was crazy. We all saw that and just jumped he with flew. the flying knee. That motherfucker flew. Definition of a flying for knee. a thirty-nine year old, he did that. It's fucking nuts. Yeah, dude, he's a savage for sure. He, no one, no one. That's why he's probably like my t- my favorite fighter right now. Him, this the way he's athletic, and for a one eighty fiver, he moves like a one fifty fiver. So he's your favorite fighter right now, or of all time? Probably right now. All time, I don't have one. Brody, you have a favorite fighter of all time, or a nice top three list that you can think of, or. Talk to us, Playboy. We want to know your little, you know, give the give the audience a little insight about what Brody thinks about the MMA community. <laughs> well, I don't really know much about the MMA community, but I'll give my little intel. Hey. Yeah. Um, I don't know, dude. Um, Chuck Liddell was dope. The Ice Man. Chuck Liddell was a beast. Probably the, one of the best hands, probably, huh? Ever he had, seen. He used his reach to his advantage, but yeah. every time he threw his reach out, he just yeah, he like, touched you, he knocked you out. Would cut fools up like with like two punches, they'll be bleeding already. Yeah, like, all he, crazy, he, his his power was just ridiculous. The Ice Man, yeah, he had a lot of good finishes. He's fucking great. Uh, 
So he's your he's your favorite fighter of all time? Uh, damn, of all time? I would have to say BJ Penn, dude, the prodigy. Dude, he even, Ooh, did great, he even train. Did great he still choice. whooped ass. Yeah, dude, like, but that nigga in his prime, though, dude, that nigga was like, he's a fucking super ninja. Yeah, he's a nigga he's couldn't nice. be touched, and therefore would just touch fools up, go to the ground, you could submit a motherfucker, like. Yeah, have you seen his documentary? Beastie. Yeah, did you see that motherfucker jump out of fucking. Pulls and yeah. shit? Three feet pulls? Yeah, and jumps he, like, out. Five foot <laughs> flat and shit? <laughs> Dope, I seen um after he fought Machida over in Japan mm-hmm. while he was the UFC champion too they stripped him because of that he still he he went contacted boxing for more he said he wanted to fight Oscar De La Hoya <laughs> he, that's how mad that's how much he liked to fight but at that time when he asked for it he was in his prime in the UFC he he was not touched it kind of sucks towards the end of his career though that he wants to kind of like make a comeback yeah, against. But- He's signing uh, Yayar Rodriguez, which is a new kid on the spot. Here in Phoenix, actually. Yep. And that dude's a beast. Yeah, I was at the Suns game, huh? Yeah, he is a beast, dude. <laughs> BJ Penn was at the Suns game and shit. Yeah. They had that for the post-game interview and shit. I know, right? Yeah, they had that for right there. Talk about, about to get his ass beat again? Submitting fools, yeah. Be like, I'm going to submit you since I'm gonna, I ain't going to be able to submit this <laughs> on Saturday night. <laughs> yeah, shots up. Yeah, yeah, but yeah he might, I think he might, he might pull an upset. If he does. If he's trained and he's trained and fucking... What do you find out? One forty-five. Probably one forty-five. I think he's fine that. That's a great choice, Eric. Uh, BJ Penn is one of the top yeah. fucking Le- fighters ever, dude. He Legend. took on anybody, any weight class. That motherfucker fought Lyoto Machida at light heavyweight at two hundred five, I believe. Yeah, that motherfucker he, he has fought. A, he, that he's fought at one forty-five, and he fought at two hundred five, and everything in between, probably. Trying to fight every weekend. <laughs> yeah, he's beastie. He's a little beastie boy. Yeah, those are those, that's a great. Those are two great fucking, two great fucking fighters, Eric, that you brought up. Uh, those take me down memory lane. Yeah, Chuck Liddell, Chuck Liddell and uh, BJ Penn are definitely in my top ten. Third one will probably just be Hoist, the throwback one. Oh, Hoist, oh, Hoist, Gracie. Yeah. Cause I remember we used to watch that nigga do like. In the Mexican channels, like when the <laughs> UFC one came out and shit. In Spanish? No weight class, fucking be like fucking three hours long and shit, huh? That shit just go on the whole episode, it's just one whole tournament. That shit was fucking dope. I, I like Royce, his jiu jitsu's crazy. But yeah. Uh, when he tried to come back against Matt Hughes, shit. bro. Oh no, yeah. Now he's destroyed him because now you have evolved MMA. Yeah. I give Royce props. He he got lucky at his time. Yeah, and for he, his he era. Ca- yeah, he capitalized on the opportunity. Because that was the no weight class era. Nigga was taking off fools fucking three times his fucking yeah. size. Fucking just choking him out. Choking him out, dude. Fucking. So you got someone's neck. They yeah. they panic and then they just they can't tap. I mean, yeah. they have to tap. You know what I mean? It's nuts. Yeah. They do that. Yo, Royce a killer, man. That's uh, he's gonna. I'm gonna I'm gonna start off. Uh, I'm gonna start him off at number three in my list. Number three. Yeah, Hoy's Grace is my top and my number three fighter. Damn. He's the one who fucking You love Jiu Jitsu though. I thought he'd be your number one. He's the one who got me in love and and, and loving this sport, you know what I mean? Hoy's Gracie he would choke any motherfucker out. I remember he fucking fought chemo and he was just pulling that fool's hair, dog. Fuck he just grabbed chemo, him. steroid chemo. He just had him by the hair, dog, and he made that motherfucker tap out. He made everybody tap out. He won the first what two tournaments, I believe, where they just fight. Fucking what three four fights in one night? Yeah, and then Kem Shamrock came back to the third one. Yeah, so he yeah, he's, his he's, I, I got him at number three, and I do love jujitsu. It is fucking one of my favorite things of all time. Yeah, jujitsu is cool. Yeah, it's fun for me to do and to fucking watch and just you know just I fell in love watching it from watching UFC one. That's that's the first UFC I ever watched live was UFC one, and I fell in love with that fucking sport ever since. I used to watch that shit on Telemundo. They used to show reruns and shit, fucking Granddaddy Goodrich, all these motherfuckers yeah, throwing that down. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so knows what's up. Yeah, I, I seen I seen a lot through the training and stuff like that. I seen a lot because I'm I'm more of a visual. If I can mimic someone's movements, then that that makes the learning experience a lot more fun. A lot of uh, my favorite probably old school fighter would be Dan Henderson, the one that just like recently retired. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Handel's a beast, dog. I met that motherfucker at Albertsons one time. <laughs> For real, dope. dude. He was at the deli buying fucking chicken and shit. The fried chicken. Fucking went up to Albertsons fucking fried chicken. If you guys didn't have it, you better go have it. But, yeah, he was buying fucking would you, would you name him number two on your favorite fighter of all time? My, my number two favorite fighter of all time is Fedor Emelianenko. Fedor? He called yeah. Fedor? Because every time I used to watch this guy, he never lost, fool. And he was just fucking stone face killer, dog. His brother too, Alexander. Yeah, but I he I seen but he that, wasn't that good. Though, I seen that fool get his ass whooped before, like Crow Cop. Yeah, you know I mean, kicked his fucking head off. Yeah, I seen that fool get his ass whooped, but Fedor didn't get start getting his ass whooped to a later age. Oh, sorry, damn, like after two thousand eight. Yeah, shit. you know what I mean. So yeah. you can't really. You can't blame him for that. He's trying to get paid now because these motherfuckers making top dollars. Yeah. For people have that fucking deadly knee injury that fucked up as. That fool got KO'd and broke his fucking leg, Legs, huh? Yeah. Oh, that shit was nasty. Crow crop, crow crop. He be up there, too. Yeah, that shit was gruesome. I remember fucking, yeah. But after that, though, his Dr. career Dr. was Dr. pretty Josh much out. went downhill huh, after that injury. Yeah, I mean, he had his moments, but he could never like, reach the same glory yeah. as after that Because he was beasting, dude. Before that fucking injury, he was fucking... Yeah, they said left leg take you to the hospital or right leg take you to the cemetery that's what they used to How about Fedor when, when he got fucking slammed on this fucking head by well who's that Kevin, Kevin, Randleman, Kevin Randleman rest in peace Kevin Randleman before came back and fucking submitted him that was a crazy one dog he could have died from that yeah you look at it he landed he spiked him yeah right on his neck he spiked him right on his neck dude. Your, your spine would have broke you would have been paralyzed you would have been dead that was amazing. If you're, if, if, you you're name, from that. if you're naming Fedor, I don't think you fucking you ain't gonna survive that shit. If you're Russian, you probably cast. I have to think twice about fighting you. Fuck yeah, dude! You, you probably guys, their fucking heads made out of fucking stone or some shit. Read, read the Bible; it says it on there. <laughs> <laughs> Ten degree weather and shit. Out there. Dude, they're drinking vodka while they're fucking kids. Yeah, that's probably, just to stay warm. They that's don't do it for fun; they do it to survive. That's what fucking. Fedor tested positive for vodka. Took like oh, Jake a half a bottle. <laughs> they always had fucking vodka in his water bottle. But yeah, that's my number two. And then my number one fighter of all time. Like for me, my favorite is fucking Nick Diaz, dude. Yeah, Nick Diaz is a stun. I think he's a super ultimate ninja. And he should just fucking, he always comes out of fight. His chin is remarkable. The only way you can beat this fool is by fucking kicking and running. Because. Condit. If you try to stay. Lay and pray, GSP. Yeah, if you try to just stand there with this foot and fucking out ninja him, it ain't gonna happen, dog. I remember when I uh, you gotta have that little strategy, that little fucking, cause this fool gets frustrated and just tries to fucking knock you out at the end. Yeah, I seen uh, like the first pay per view I ever bought. I was at Barros and I worked there. It was Nick Diaz versus Anderson Silva, and that was like at UFC 180s. Two or something like that. I don't remember. That was one of the funniest fights I've ever watched, bro. It was. It was weird. It was weird. How, dude. <laughs> like the let up was like, it was. It was just a weird fight. It was because he went up to 185, which he never done before, but no one wanted the fight. He even said like GSP got a contract. He didn't want the fight. Uh, any other middleweight didn't want the fight, but he said I'll, I'll take the fight, and he took the fight and. It was a close competitive fight. I honestly thought he won the fight. Just because he put more pressure than Silva. I I gave him the fight too, but I, I rewatched it and I don't know, it's close to call, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's too close to call. But it was freaking hilarious some of the shit that went down in that fight. The first round was the funniest shit in the world. When he laid down and fucking went was, to the cage, told him to come here. Fucking oh yeah, did the Muhammad Ali fucking dope a rope. Yeah. Rope a dope. And it's like, no one's done that to Silva before. Nah. They try to, but they end up getting finished. Well, Anderson, Anderson's one of the greatest of all time. Like, talking, like, not my favorite or anything, but just greatest of all time. He has to be up there, dog. Oh, he does, yeah. You know I think I mean? that... He might be number one. Yeah. So, so like, right now, accomplishments and everything that fool did was definitely, crazy. Definitely. Crazy shit. He would fuck with motherfuckers. Matrix style, dude. People forget that shit. Matrix people look Forrest pe Griffin is bitch. People look at Connor and think he's the greatest of all time. He hasn't done shit compared to what this fool and GSP and Fedor and all these motherfuckers have done, dude. I, I don't they're, like... They're, they're like undercutting all the legends, bro. Because like, they're living... Everybody lives in the moment now. It's like the meme era. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like with McGregor, he going up and wait. 
Not really. Nate's a 155er. Everybody says... You go up and wait one class, who gives a shit? BJ Penn done it. Frankie Edgar went down weight. He came back up and wait. Let's see who else. Yeah, f- um, even Dude. Addison Silva fought at 205. Cowboy. Cowboy, now he's demolished at 170. But when McGregor went up and wait to fight Nate, Nate was said, well, he supposedly said he was down for 155. But then they took too long to respond, and he said, no, I'm not going to lose no weight over no shit if they're going to keep taking forever, giving him an advantage. Which I kind of believe because they kind of want to give Connor the edge. He's the money maker right now. People spend a lot of money to see this guy. Oh, they were sad when he lost that first fucking fight, dog. Yeah, oh, dude, you don't realize how hype I was when he won the when Nate won because oh. I called it. I said second round submission. You should see me. I don't know what made me say that, but I called that. Me and Brody were fucking jumping up and down like we fucking won the Super Bowl, dog. That shit was a fucking amazing shit. Ain't nobody said shit after that. Everybody, Hell nah. Nobody wanted that shit no more. Like, And then the second fight, that was a close fucking fight. That was a competitive fight. I but think, you can't call him the greatest of all time. Hell nah. And he if, has to avenge that fight. You, first of first yeah, things first. You got finished. If you never, if, if you, you won by decision. Don't say you're back. Yeah, you won. You won by a decision, and you got finished. Did not say that's very. That, yeah, you you're gotta still go his, in, You're still his bitch, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, you got to fucking KO him or submit his ass. Yeah, and he couldn't way. do that. Yeah. You dropped him, sure, but yeah. he dropped you too, uh, and he finished you. Cause that motherfucker's scared of fucking trying to fucking go and finish him off, and he goes to the ground. Cause yeah, he's ground you gotta getting get fucking weak as fuck. Definitely won't make it down there. But it's smart. McGregor. It was smart. Yeah, what it he was did. smart tactic. McGregor is not pound for pound great. He's ranked number two. That's crazy, huh? But well, Demetrius Johnson, that that division, he's number one because ain't nobody in that division. We're talking about Demetrius Johnson, dog. He has a fight coming up tomorrow for the. Uh, I'm gonna watch that. Oh yeah, well it's free. I'm gonna watch it too. Hell yeah, it's free. I'll watch it. It's free. Oh yeah. yeah. Nobody trying to pay. I ain't gonna order the next one. Pettis and Max Holloway, please. Anybody want to see those two fight? That's the main event. That's the main event. I'll be streaming that shit allegedly. 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 Oh, don't tell your mom. Don't tell your dad. But yeah, let's go over a little couple of these fights on that card. We gotta let's start off with the. We're just gonna go over a couple fights because I don't fucking really. Let's just do the top. Three. Top three. Let's see. Cool, is Jake uh, Ellenberger, fucking uh, fucking classic fighter versus George Ma- Oh, George Masvidal. Oh, George Masvidal is gonna take it. I think he's a bad motherfucker, George. He just so he gets robbed. So is Jake Ellenberg, though. Ellenberger. Jake Ellenberg almost got cut. Was his until he beat Matt Brown? Yeah, because he came back with that fucking ferocious knockout. He so. beat the fuck out of Matt Brown, dude. And no one's like ever demolished that dude like that either. So I'm gonna go with uh, I'm going with George Masvidal, dog. I I but Jake I Ellenberg, say if, I don't know, but is this fool still hungry like like he was uh, last fight? We're gonna have to see because because this George fool, never got punked. He only lost by decisions like that. So I think I either go with George, uh. To decision or Jake first round KO. That's yeah, the call. Or TKO, not KO. I mean, they're fucking close in, in record. Look at that shit. 31 and 11 for Jake. 30 and 11 for George. They're fucking one in, uh, two inches apart in height. Fucking what? I mean, yeah, I mean, that, that, that fight could go in either way. It's a close fight. But if Jake Ellenberg comes as hungry as he was the last fight, I think he could fucking yeah, pull it off again. In the first round, he would be able to pull it off. Because, hey, dude, you never know when you get cut in the fucking UFC. But then again, you got Bellator waiting for talent. Yeah, and then Bellator's Don't sign that fool right away, dude. Bellator that, then use your sponsor. You can pay. He's a name. You know what I mean? Yeah. So they'll pick that fool up. I'll watch him. I like him. Not like I don't like him. I watch yeah, yeah, yeah. I like both of those fools. Those fools are both sol- two solid fighters. You know, yeah, what I mean? it's a good fight. These it's fools, good fight, these fools yeah, could yeah. knock anybody out in any given night, type of guys. Right. Brody, who do you got on that fight? Which one? No, we just talking. Brody over here fell asleep. <laughs> I just skipped that one. All right, we're gonna go to fucking uh, Joseph Benavides versus oh shit Henry Segudo fucking coming back and trying to. Try to avenge that loss. The I don't even know what to call it. Of his of his fucking Olympic medal. His little crown got fucking torn off by. Uh, I I knew it was too soon for him because he fought nobodies. If he would have fought a John Dodson, or maybe a Joseph Benavides before, 
Yeah, so he's oh, yeah. But he's you born, you but go straight to the you go straight for the star. It's gonna be a war though, huh? I I feel war, like I Joseph Benavides could knock him out because he got some hands on him. I think Henry's gonna come back strong and fucking just use his wrestling and outpoint this guy. I think it's gonna end by by decision with Henry. Cause remember, it's only a three. But they don't like each other either, and that emotion takes the factor. Oh yeah, that's true. But okay, it might, it might really screw. Well, jo- Joseph's a little fucking beast, though, dude. You know what I mean? I seen that motherfucker do some damage. He only losing to Demetrius Johnson, and you can tell he's like num- he's number one for a reason. Yeah, Henry got a chance, and he he actually he got killed in the first round. Dude, he got he got fucking clown Derek. I was yeah. not surprised by that. By the yeah, that he got fucked up. I was not surprised either. And then for the main event, you got Demetrius Johnson versus Tim Elliott. Now, now, funny, Tim Elliott actually got cut from the UFC before. He was um, in. He lost three fights in a row, and then they're like, "Get the fuck out of here." Who did he lose to? Top names or fucking nah, just bottom feeders? Bottom and shit? feeders. He, yeah. Like he couldn't make the cut. He lost to his own kind. Yeah. So him going against. Pound for pound, probably one of the best mixed martial artists of all time in the 125 division. Yeah, yeah, Demetrius is gonna just fucking he can, walk out with his victory. Dog. Yeah, he could do what he did to uh, that Asian kid. Demetrius Johnson is the fucking closest thing you could get to the Matrix right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's so slick. His movement's so smooth. I do question his chin because when he fought John Dawson, he got dropped four times. But after that, you were not even coming close to touching this guy. Yeah, it's so hard to hit this dude. His IQ, his IQ, fucking his he's fighting IQ is on another level. He's a smart guy. I like watching his like his uh his live streaming when he plays games and stuff like that. He I was watching the one where he was fucking commenting on smart guy on uh when McGregor and Diaz yeah, start throwing bottles at each other. Yeah, that, that was, was commenting and shit. That shit was hilarious. That, that was, shit was hilarious. That bro. was funny. But yeah, I think I'll go with Demetrius Johnson. I mean, this card first not, round. This card don't really get my fucking. My willy hard, you know what I mean? Well, it's free. What do you expect? <laughs> it's free, exactly. They're yeah. all free. No, it's They're all free. free in one way or another. Yeah, it's all, it's free. So I mean, Call but me. hopefully there's I finishes. I don't like I don't like seeing decisions. Sports devil, I see you. I know, right? Shit. Yeah. So fucking that card is not. Uh, I know there's like some some good cards coming up though in December. We got that BJ Penn. We'll break that one down next week for these motherfuckers. Yeah, BJ Penn. But let's fucking, let's move on from this, all this MMA talking, let's fucking. Yeah, I know, I made my mouth sore, no homo. Let's go, let's talk, yeah. let's talk a little, let's talk a little, uh, something you probably might want to talk about. How about them fucking Raiders? Yeah, no, see, you knew you were going to talk about the Raiders, because, ain't no, everybody's so surprised. But in football, you got to pay attention to this. It's always about rebuilding. Even if you got a good team, you're going to constantly think about the future. That's I mean, true. it took us 14 fucking years, Find the right piece here, so. but now we got a young team with a yeah. lot of energy, yeah. and Derek Carr showing that he is MVP caliber. Yeah, that fool's been putting up nice numbers. But I watched the Cowboys too, and the Cowboys are fucking good. I don't, I don't know about. Uh, I feel bad for Romo. Actually, no, I don't. He's actually been dick Fuck for that like guy. the last five years. Fuck that guy. Yeah, he he belongs in the CBL or CFL. They just gave him money. <laughs> they said, "Here's a hundred million. Hang out." Yeah, pretty much, huh? Yeah. You know you got your fucked up back. Go ahead and, and have another surgery and chill, motherfucker. I wish someone would give me a hundred million just to hang out. I'd like to say uh, thank you to David Carr. He's my quarterback in my fantasy league, and uh, he's brought me back so many times from almost losing. He's breaking records. Right now I'm in second place. Word up to the fucking fantasy league out there. Gordo, I see you. I'm going to fucking whoop that ass in the playoffs. <coughs> but, yeah, fucking. But, hey, you can never count out. You already. We, there's a team you can never count out. Yeah. You, 14, you, 15 years. You, you never know with football. That's and why they, I like they, the sport. And, and they go by uh they go by the New England Patriots. Well, fuck the Patriots. That's a dude. team that can never be counted out. I don't give a fuck. The, if Tom Brady's on your fucking Brady's team. Alive. As long as Brady's alive, that fucking football could be underinflated, overinflated. Shit could be flat. He used to get in your He's arms. He's still fucking yeah. dead there. He's yeah. done it. This nigga got so bored winning Super Bowls. Like, I'm going to win the Super Bowl every fucking way. I'm going to deflate the football. I'm going to overinflate the football. <laughs> and I'm going to win Super Bowls either fucking way. 
He challenges himself on like, all right, let me try to throw this fucking. He wears gloves one Super Bowl. He don't wear gloves the next one. He don't even drink water yeah. one Super Bowl. He's a fucking stud. He is. For he don't even wear makeup and he looks like that. That's crazy. That fool just came out the womb perfect. You know what I mean? Right. That fool came out throwing touchdowns. That's crazy how good that motherfucker. And he is. wasn't even a first rounder. No, he was. Oh. He's like a third round. Dude, he came. He, he came off the bench when fucking uh, pick two hundred and sixty eight. Like what the fuck? When Drew Bledsoe got injured, bro, and he fucking that was that was his first year when he won that game against yep. the Raiders in the fucking Snow Bowl. Yup. If you can you know. remember that. Who was in that game? Randy Moss. Randy Moss was the Raiders. Randall Moss was he with them already? Yeah, he was with them in that game. I don't that's, remember. I just before remember. he went with Tom Brady himself. Fucking bitch. Wait, but fuck, those Patriots are fucking. You can't count those fools out, dog. That's all I could tell you. They're they're a good team. But the Raiders, I mean the the. The Cowboys, we got to see how real they really are. Yeah, like, i seen this thing where they showed who the Cowboys play versus who the Raiders play. Oh, the Raiders have had better uh, And better harder teams. Huh? Except, I, yeah, but, I mean, it's crazy. Like, most of the football teams this year kind of suck. They all suck. It's been a kind of weak season yeah. overall. Yeah, it's like everybody it's loses. Like four good teams yeah. Overall, there's you got been... Patriots, Cowboys, and Raiders, and Chiefs. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Chiefs, man. man, they did it to the Chiefs. They won against so shitty teams. You can't really trust Alex Smith, I don't think, in the playoffs. You know, when it comes against elite teams. Nah, he, yeah, he, he has a little pussy fit. He's always been showing that he's he's never got over that fucking hump, dude. It's, yeah. So he's always that, uh, like. He's always like that he's, decent quarterback uh, yeah. that can get you through a season. But when it comes to the end of the season, towards playoff season, he's not going to be able exactly. to he don't, give you he the. Function, he's not giving you that superstar cal- qual- yeah, caliber. Yeah. You, you don't can't have respect that. that game. You don't have that release, dude. That quick fucking striking release. Exactly. He's one of those guys who needs that extra second, extra half second. But yeah. in the NFL, that extra half second means everything, dude. And it's crazy to think that Kaepernick and Russell Wilson are now irrelevant because they're they they have horrible records, honestly. And they were both in the Super Bowl like two years ago. What's Russell Wilson? Aren't they in first place? No. And the NFC West? Well, and nobody care about the divisions like that. I'm talking total. Well, but that's why you, like, don't make it in the playoffs, though, like that. He ain't going to do nothing in the playoffs. The fucking, you know who's you know who's <laughs> disappointing as fuck? The Cardinals. Nah, dude, the Cardinals. I, All they I, did was talk about Super Bowl or bust. That motherfucker busted a long time ago, dog. He busted. He, like, put it in, and he didn't have time to pull out. Exactly. It sucked. <laughs> Dude. That shit busted so quick, dog, before it even went in. Busted like a high schooler at prom. Shit's nuts. Hell yeah. That shit was fucking crazy how fucking... And a fucking head coach in the hospital dying and shit. Is he in the hospital? What the fuck is that guy? I yeah, think he's... That last law I saw, like, yeah, he was fucking having fucking stressing. breathing problems. Nigga just had to go to the hospital. Like, you motherfucker, this is fucking stressing me. He needs to stop eating all them fucking cheeseburgers. I feel bad for Larry Fitzgerald because I personally, I, 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 um, you're a, you're a closet Cardinal fan. You just I, wear I like Raider the gear. Cardinals because it's where I'm from. You know what I mean? I grew up. I'm an Arizona boy. I don't know how I end up being a Raiders fan, but you know, it just happened. But when it comes to like family wise, they all go for the Cardinals. I'm a root for fucking Cardinals too. You know what I mean? Especially if it's a team I don't like. I'm like, fuck that team, Cardinals. My, my team's the wackest team in the division, in the league. The the 49ers. The 49ers we, getting molested. We don't, we, don't, we don't stand up for the pledge. We don't do none of that shit, homie. Yeah, you, you kneel. We're rebels. Kneel. We, we, losses, are, how, losses are wins to that's us. That's your season. Yeah. Kneeling. Yeah, close that fucking fist and put it up. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's how you made your impact this season, just by taking a kneel. Yeah, we don't give a fuck about anything. That was crazy, too. Everybody's like, what the fuck? That fool's fucking... We're famous for other reasons in this yeah. year. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's been a fucking weird NBA, uh, NFL season, bro. It hasn't been like other years where, like, every game's competitive. We're fucking except the Bengals and the and the Cleveland Browns, like, always. They always suck, dude. Oh, man. Cleveland. It's, like the air, it's the pollution, probably. Yeah, I think that shit don't allow them to Or I think they gave all their money to LeBron. Course. That's why. I think it was, <laughs> I think it was ugly uniforms they fucking picked. Cleveland gave all their money to LeBron. Yeah. Come back, please. Fuck Cleveland Browns. Yeah, well, yeah. We won a championship in basketball that no one gives a fuck about. I already forgot. All that money is going to you, LeBron. So, okay, put your... If you had to put your unbiased money, I know you're a fucking Raider fan. Thanks. Who would you put your money on to win the fucking Super Bowl? 
Shit, that's a hard one because... If you have to put put it right now on the fucking first episode and we'll go back to this shit. I'm nervous. <laughs> and I don't want to get criticized for my answer. Yo, I wait. feel like Patriots, bro. No. Because they're in my division. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it's it's tough for me to say it, but you can't doubt Tom Brady. And it's so good if point right there. And Raiders are a point. young team, a young new team with remarkable results. Yeah, that's true. So that that's like the mystery team right there. You, you don't know how veterans versus perform. old. Yeah, you got new school, old school yeah. kind of wins games. They can, it's like that's a iffy. That's a toss up because if the fucking young team could come and overwhelm these fools from the beginning, like. Oh yeah, they the defense can whoop his know? ass the first two quarters. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They'll over, shut down overwhelm his ass. The half, yeah. half time. Yeah. They gotta do that, but if they let this nigga, you know, start off all with his nice little short passes and yeah, get all, in that all little he groove. Needs is Twelve it's yards over, of play. Dude. Yeah, that's it's all he over. needs. He does two twelve yard plays passes, and then the fucking, all of a sudden he does a thirty the yard. The You're like, what the bomb, fuck? Yeah. How does he do He's that? Putting them to sleep, dude. Like, cause he brings all the defense all close and shit. Cause this motherfucker is good throwing the middle routes. Tom Brady's better than Peyton Manning. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude. Hands down. Hands down. He's probably one of the best quarterbacks ever. All time. Tom, yeah, all time. All time. But Tom Brady. He's going to be Books. Tommy. For the fucking Tom Brady jersey. I mean, too. I think I'm going to go fucking shop for one tomorrow. I know. I work yeah, at Tom Brady. Tom, Tom Brady's number one, bro. Tom Brady's the greatest. So, I, I say probably him and Joe But you never know. Every, every Any given Sunday, you know? So, you, you, it's but it's like, damn. He's, like he's that Jordan. good. He's a Jordan of this era. Yeah, he's a Jordan of football. He's a Jordan of football of this era. Okay, so you picked them to win it all. Who are they going to beat in the Super Bowl? Uh, probably the Cowboys. The Cowboys? That's a fucking good choice. It's that, probably going to be the Cowboys. That motherfucker Dak. That motherfucker's making, oh. that making everybody suck his Dak. Yeah. You know I mean? Oh, yeah. yeah. Prescott. Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott. They try to compare, because um, I said Derek Carr for MVP. As a new guy yeah. on the team with a franchise and how it went. I said, why not? Cowboys, they've always been a decent team, but you've got a shitty Raiders team. Yeah. The last 14, 15 yeah. years. Yeah. And now you got this new kid who, like, honestly, the momentum changed as soon as he was able to get the rhythm together. And mm-hmm. with his wide receivers that are good as shit. Have you ever seen Crabtree? He used to play for the 49ers. Looks so good. Crabtree's amazing, dog. Yeah, he, he, he looks like a rookie all over again. Back in high, he plays like he's in high school. That nigga's like one of the hardest fools to tackle with receivers. That nigga, he, like, he, he could take first contacts like crazy. Yeah, like, oh, he'll, they try to he'll tackle. spin off. Yeah, he'll, he'll spin off, bounce off yeah. him and shit. Like, it's amazing. And his footwork's fucking... He's a beast. He's a uncanny, stud. Dude. Yeah. Never seen a stud like yeah. that. He's actually a legit stud. Uh, he is. It's just motherfuckers can never get him the ball. He got a young quarterback. Yeah, a crap. young wide receiver with a veteran talent to lead, like Cabtree. And then you got Khalil Mack. A fucking stud beast. He'll get in there. <laughs> so that defense is solid with him leading it. And with their safeties, keep catching interception because of the pressure on the quarterback. Yeah, you got a good young team. I'm gonna say yeah, Crabtree's a beast. So yeah, okay, Cowboy. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with the. I think the Patriots gonna win it all. It basically boils down to the fact that Tom Brady got suspended and that motherfucker's pissed off and he's coming. He he's coming to fuck you somebody. to the nation. Yeah. He's. I'm gonna win with the balls you guys want me to win. You know what I mean? Mr. Roethlisberger. Fuck Big Ben. Rapist. Fuck Big Ben. Eric's your favorite fucking rapist, huh? My favorite quarterback. Stop bashing them, guys. That's my nah, quarterback. That's my fucking quarterback. That's my quarterback. <laughs> yeah. Like, though, football wise, he's tight, but like for a big motherfucker, yeah. yeah like, he's like your wise, dad. Your dad Ray was wise, good. <laughs> that nigga's like fifty years old and still fucking playing. Bro. Yeah, he's your dad. If your dad was good at football, that's all. That yeah. is. Exactly, dude. That nigga fucking. He's a little fucking beast. Like he quietly always gets him in the playoffs. And, yeah, and then he'll go off one game, and yeah. he'll probably lose the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Break is fucking like playing on a broken. I actually want to see what the schedule is for this week. Yeah, let's go. Let's let's go. Uh, let's close out the show with our picks, and then we'll see how we did next week. You know what I mean? Yeah, let's see. How we we already missed the Thursday night game, so we'll fucking skip yeah, it this fucking week. Fucking gay ass Cowboys one. Yeah, By two points. Yeah. Fuck the Cowboys. Got fucking shoot. lucky because I think the Viking. I picked the Vikings to win that game. You picked the Vikes? Yeah, I picked the Vikes. I took a couple Vikes. <laughs> oh, I don't do drugs, allegedly. Liar. All right, so here we go. Let's start off uh, with the Lions versus the Saints. 
Uh, Let me see. They're at they're at the Saints, I believe. I'll so. give it to the Saints. Eric, Saints. I'm gonna go with the fucking Lions, dude. They've been coming from behind a lot, and every win that they've got, I think, has been from a comeback. So I'm gonna go with the Lions. All right, all right. Okay, the next game is followed by the 49ers at one and ten versus the Bear at two and nine. Oh shit, not that much better. I might give it to the 49ers. I'm gonna go with the 49ers. I'll go with the 49ers. 49ers. They're gonna fucking win this one. I think they'll go off in this game. Yeah, in the midst of that matchup. I think we're picking. We're picking up our first fucking victory. What up, 49ers? What up, Kaepernick? Keep your fucking head up and your kneel down. Yeah. <laughs> Get your fucking fro braided. Get your fro braided. Okay, you now we're going to go with the 5-6 and six Eagles at the 3-7-1 and one Bengals. Ooh, I'll give it. I'll, I'll give it the Eagles. The running game on the Eagles is pretty nice. I'm going Bengals. I you think, think so? Yeah. I'll give it to the Eagles. I picked the Eagles. I'm going Eagles. I'm going Eagles. Okay, uh, we got a... We got a little good one. See, every team sucks. We got the Packers at five and uh, no, the Texans at the Packers. The Texans are six and five, and the Packers are five and six. See, it's like weird records. Weird records. Stupid ass records. What the fuck? It's like you're not even trying. Yeah, that was gonna end in the fucking tie. So, Bavis kids. <laughs> so, Bavis kids, who do you uh, who do you got on that matchup? I'll go with the Texans. I like their defense. Strong, yeah, strong that's line. A, that's a toughie right there. That's the a tough game Green right Bay's there. always had a good yeah, offense, too. I don't know, dude. That, cause, Ty, we'll go with Ty. <laughs> yeah, because Rodgers has been, like, fucking off and on. Like, yeah, he, he's, he's like a fucking period, dude. Yeah, you know, he's coming boy. on. Yeah, I don't know. If I had to pick, though, my gut's telling me fucking Aaron Rodgers is going to pull it through. Uh, I'm going to go with Mr. Rodgers' neighborhood I'll myself. Fuck, I'll go with Green Bay. Green I'll Bay. Go with Green oh, Bay. So we all go with Green Bay. Damn, we agree on something for once. Shit, all right, and then we got the the seven and four Dolphins at the six and five Ravens. Uh, Babies kids, who do you got? I like the Dolphins offense. So you're going with the Dolphins? I'll go with the Dolphins. Uh, Prodi. Mm. Their coach is good. Yeah, coach I'm thinking good. Dolphins. I'm going with the I'm I'm gonna go with the Ravens. I think that they're gonna pull it off. Mm. Joe Flacco don't the same fucking Ravens from back then. Yeah, don't, they don't got they, fucking Ray Lewis no more. Nah, bro. fuck that. They only won they because Tor- Ray Lewis was retiring. They don't got Tory Smith anymore. I follow the Niners. You fucking don't know. It's a new fucking Ravens. Yeah. They have Antoine Baldwin. They suck balls. Antoine Baldwin's with the Niners too. Oh. Is he? I don't know. Is he? Or he probably got. Ray Lewis. I think he's with the Lions, bro. He's old as shit, anyways. Yeah, he's got their fucking. <laughs> Kanye West style with the broken jaw and shit. Yeah. So, okay, I went with the Ravens. You two went with the Dolphins. I can't cool, get cool. here. I'll give it to you. All right, so next we got the 4-7 and seven Rams versus the 9-2 Patriots. I'll give it to the Patriots, of course. Patriots. Patriots. All three unanimous decision for the Patriots. Next we got the 8-3 and three Chiefs versus the 7-4 and four Falcons. I'll go, Falcons. I'll go with the Falcons. I like. Very emerging. Oh, yeah, hell they're yeah. They're fucking, they're clicking right now. Yeah, Falcons are easy with victory right there. And Julio Jones? Yeah. Fucking bad motherfucker like always. I'm gonna go with the I'm gonna go with the Arba, I'm gonna go with the Chiefs well, on this remember, one. Remember they were the undefeated team? I'm going to the Chiefs on this one, so You're crazy. Next we got Yeah, yeah, the Chiefs. Well next we got okay, so you both of you guys got Falcons, I got the Chiefs. Just making sure I this shit make hey, get the fuck down, Rambo. <laughs> Just making sure this shit's on record so we can uh so I can go over it the next week so who gets clowned on. All right, the all loser right. has to bring fucking snacks for everybody for right. drinks and snacks. Bring you know Oreo I mean? and Capri Suns because we're good kids. Yeah, oh, like a like a like a sport. You know what I mean? Like yeah, a game. Like we're fucking in summer camp. Yeah, so loser beca- winter camp. Sorry. Loser becomes fucking sports mom for the day. Yeah, fucking. You got drive band aids and minivans, bro. You got drive us here in a fucking minivan. Real. Okay, next we got uh, the seven and four Broncos versus the two and nine Jaguars. I'll go with the Broncos, bro. Broncos. End of that box. Broncos. The record speaks for itself. I'm going with the Broncos. Here's a good one. Here's it takes good years. One. It'll take years. Here's a good one. We got the six and five Bills versus the nine and two Raiders. Of course, I'm always gonna pick the Raiders. You can't. You want me to pick another sorry ass team? Eric. The Raiders. Raiders. I don't like how I see everybody with a fucking Raiders hat nowadays, though. Ain't nobody was wearing a Raider hat two, three years ago. It all started. I like yours. It was like a little Koofy style Raider yeah, hat. Yeah, you know old I mean? school, dude. And it looks like a dad hat. Hell yeah. I like you know this I mean? hat, dude. I wear this hat everywhere. That's good. 
<laughs> you're yeah, you're a real Raider fan. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to the audience. This motherfucker been a Raider fan, so I've been. A, it's funny. The only reason why I became a Raiders fan is because I got a Raiders hat when I was a kid. So I gotta pretend like like yeah, I don't know what's up. Let's tie on. Yeah. I got a fucking 49ers backpack. That's how they became my See, it's like team. material things yeah. make you like a certain thing, and that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Ever since then, like, that was just the team. Like, who's your favorite team? Like, yeah. look at my hat, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Niners, yeah. Man, no shit, Sherlock. Shit. Yeah, so we all yeah. agree. We all agree on the Raiders. Okay, mm-hmm. for the next, for the next, we got uh, the 8 and 3 Giants versus the 6 and 5 Steelers. I go with the Giants. I'm going to go with the Giants. I predict. Uh, Shout fuck. out to my Theo Chewy. He likes the Giants. Shout out to, yeah. I'm going to go with the Giants, dude. I predict that fucking Eli and, and what's his name going to have a big. Fucking Beckham. Beckham going to have a big connection night. Fucking ramen hair, Beckham. Sorry, but Big Ben's coming through, guys. Oh, yeah. Fucking <laughs> dad. Big Ben dad. Yeah, Big Ben's coming through, so. That'd be a good game. I would probably want to watch that game. He's going to rape the. He's gonna rape the game. He's gonna rape oh, yeah, Odell yeah. in his ass. He's gonna rape. He the, he's gonna rape a news reporter. Oh shit! Oh, uh, there is more. She'll get raped. Did you see fucking Drake wearing a fucking Doris Burke shirt? Yeah, yeah tell she can come over. Wild one, huh? Drake. He just so, talks too much. I think yeah. it's crazy. Though. So we got two. Who got the Giants? I got the Giants. I got the Giants. Yeah, bro, they got the fucking Lucky Steelers. Don't like Odell though, but. Oh, here's a here's a fucking whack one to pick. We got the six and five Buccaneers versus the five and six Chargers. Fuck the Chargers, bro. Fuck the Chargers. I'm gonna go with the Chargers just because my familia is out there. What do you got? I don't know. That's why I don't like the Chargers, dude. You talk shit every time you come out here. Fuck I the Chargers. I got the char. Who do you? Hey, what up to all the family out there in fucking San Diego? Fucking shout out to, nah, shout out to the Buccaneers, little homie Z. He from Tampa. You like the Buccaneers? What up, little homie Z? But I got family out there, so uh, Brody, who do you got on that matchup? The Chargers, fucking Philip Rivers. Hell no! He's, he's gonna go you for You sleep? Like, you gonna, sleep? Uh, no, on Buccaneers, bro. Nah, but James Winston. Jamie Winston. Nah, but tall, he, lengthy he, motherfucker yeah, he's too. He's not polished though. Yeah, like, he's almost there. He's like yeah, a, he's a like there. a horse getting ready to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's gonna get rolling, but he's not quite there yet. Yeah, he has baby legs. Though. Yeah, he's, he's a little retarded, so it's gonna but, take him a little couple extra years five? to learn the system. But yeah, for a first timer, yeah, straight out of college, no, bad dude. Okay, yeah, so rapist against rape. Oh no, that's not. Well, Philip Rivers, Philip Rivers, Philip Rivers raped somebody too. So I had the Chargers, a linebacker, big ass dude, James raped Winston. somebody. Fuck. Oh shit, that's scary. Oh, James Winston though. Accused of when college. Uh, yeah, he was accused of molesting somebody. somebody it wasn't rape. He just it. touched somebody. Oh, all right. Just fucking That's took, okay, though. took Donald Trump's advice. Just yeah. grab him by the pussy. Yeah, grab him by the pussy. <laughs> AK America. America. So, yeah, me and Prody agree on Chargers and fucking Baby Skates takes the Bucks. Next, we got the 6 4 and 1 Redskins. Dance. A lot of teams have fucking. Shitty. Have that one on their fucking record, that draw. Yeah. And then the the Cardinals, uh, the 4 and 6 and 1 Cardinals. I'm going to go with the Cardinals, bro. They need that win, and I think they're going to come out and get it for their coach that's in the hospital. Who do you got, Babies kids? I'll go with the Cardinals. Brody? Big surprise. The Cardinals play. versus who? Redskins. Yeah. This will probably, probably be a game. Those will probably have a little breakout game. Yeah, the Cardinals. Cardinals yeah. Will probably the, the passing game would probably yeah. be a little better. Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably say the Cardinals. And then uh, next we got the 4-7 and seven Panthers. That's for our Sunday night football game versus the seven and three Seahawks. The Seahawks are gonna fuck them up. Yeah, I think yeah. so too. The Panthers after Cap uh Cap Newton got punked like a little bitch. That was a little bitch though. He would Yeah, yeah he, he every can't time ask him, every time he don't he produce, looked. he's scared. You get hit as a quarterback. Shake those fucking hits off. Cheap shots is football. You're gonna get hit. You're gonna get cheap shots. Like yeah, yeah every when, you're yeah. not gonna get every call, and nobody's gunning after you. Once he loses, he becomes a little bitch. You right. know what I mean? So yeah, I agree with the fucking Seagulls. Gonna give him a fucking pounding like a porn star. But you don't know. Who, I think you know what? I, I'm probably gonna go with the Seahawks. Too. I'll give it a good game. I got the Seahawks. Yeah, it's gonna be a good game, but that was still gonna pow at the end. Yeah. I'll give Brody. It a game. Seahawks. So we all agree on the Seahawks, and then for the final Monday Night Football, we got the five and six Colts versus the three and eight Jets. Mm. Damn, disappointing record on the Colts, man. The Colts. 
I'm gonna go with the Colts just because you know what I mean. You got you got what's his face as quarterback. Is he even there too? Is he still there right now? Is he injured? Andrew Luck. He's injured, no. That record looks like he's injured. <laughs> yeah. They have an injured ass record. That's all I can say. So I, I like I like him though when he first came out. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the Colts over the Jets. Nah, I don't, I'm going with the Jets. Upset. Oh uh, yeah. I'll go with Pro the Colts too. Colts, Colts. No, no, I'm going with the Jets. You got Colts and Prodi. Colts. So two, that's two Colts. One that's Jets. Those are our, those are our picks for this fucking week. Uh, if you motherfuckers want to email us your picks, please don't. Please don't cause <laughs> keep quit, your I, keep your comments to yourself <laughs> because I don't give a fuck. Just give us thumbs up and uh, <laughs> go fuck yourselves. This is the Roach Clip Sportscast. Uh we out. We out of here. Peace out, bitches. All right. Tell your mom I'm coming home.